Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a video I've been delaying make. And the reason why I've been delaying this video is I don't want to be done with the weapon. It is what I consider to be the best assault rifle in the game right now. That is the Holger 556. And it's this configuration. Even bare, it's an awesome weapon. So let's take a look at it. We'll start with the Ignis F43 stock. Have a look at the damage though. 54 to the head. That is 54 to the head. And it doesn't get much worse to the upper torso and lower torso. 42 each. 35. That's huge in the upper legs. That's as much as some assault rifles provide damage. Now, the fire rate is almost 600 rounds per minute or 10 rounds per second. So it's not all that bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad at all for that powerful of a weapon. And the bullet velocity is 502 meters per second. So what does the stock give us? The stock increases is our movement speed the ads movement speed now all these are composite of all the attachments that i have on it we had the bare bones already it's 3.8 meters per second left to right strafing back and forward strafing can you believe it 3.8 meters per second on something this powerful hurts the gun kick but really the gun kick isn't all that bad at 26.44 degrees per second horizontal recoil 13.08 degrees per second vertical recoil 38.75 degrees per second it says that it's going to go almost straight up with a little side to side bounce the intruder grip the intruder grip helped with the ads movement speed that's 15 percent that's something to take note of and the ads speed another 10 percent hurt the flinch resistance but it's the enemies are going to be twitching once they feel the impact of 54 to the head and 42 essentially to the body. The DR6 hand stop. Again, ADS movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. 206 milliseconds on a sprint to fire. Something this powerful that can strafe, that you can aim down sight, that you can sprint to fire. It's amazing. The ELR backfire compensator, and that helps get that composite recoil down 13.08 degrees per second or horizontal and vertical of uh, 38.75 degrees per second, but that's 18% improvement for the cost of a 19% damage range. But look at it, 26.2 meters, that is far out there, especially in the maps we're going to be playing. Minimum of damage range, 33.4 meters, and it did hurt the bullet velocity just a little bit. But you know what? I'm willing to accept it for a gun that's going to be this powerful and this accurate. The Cross X short barrel, a Again, you see the trend going. There are four things that I tune for. Range, ADS movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. Okay, we gave up a little on the range, but the range is still outstanding. What we've done is we have made a monster in ADS movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. So let's take this monster on to the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did to our friendly enemies. All right, we're back to free for all. Let's take a look at the stats real quick, and I'm going to switch things up on you, but I know that you're flexible. In this case, green is bad. Highlighted green is something to take note of. Red is good. Highlighted red, take note of it, because that is where the holder configured has the advantage over the bare bones holder. And like we saw earlier, I gave up the range. I gave up 10 meters and 13 meters on the range, but look at the, eight aim, look at the aim down sight speed. 225 milliseconds the movement speed is up 5.5 meters per second the ads movement speed is up 3.8 meters per second and the sprint to fire time is a blistering 206 milliseconds so this weapon given how powerful it is like i said earlier can ADS, move fast, sprint to fire fast, and has a strafe speed that is top notch. So Grandpa's using the power to get <laughs> three lives behind. We're in Vista. And I, this map, I don't know the location. I assumed it was in the United States because it's English. 
Well, not really. That doesn't look like English to me. But it has what looks like the Christ of the Andes in it, so who knows? Who knows what the designers are thinking? But Grandpa's thinking he's two gags behind right now, so we know what Grandpa's thinking. This guy wants to dance, we'll pull out the pistol and dance with him. He had a good stray speed, too, but I stayed with him with a holger. So with the movement speed, I feel pretty confident. Even so, I buy the farm every now and then, and that farm is expensive. 30 rounds was enough. I used to think I needed more, but the bare bones test taught me because we were winning with the bare bones. I really don't like it when somebody does that. I imagine they're probably using a scope that can see through it, but maybe they're not. And if they're not, that's not very smart. But who am I to judge? So we're still behind by one. I do like this map because I think it's just well executed. And you can see there's almost no recoil. That was fairly much almost a long shot and stayed right on him. This guy's going to be waiting for me, but he's going to be waiting for his own demise. Whoa. People are shooting a grandpa. That's dangerous. Now, what is this guy doing? The enemy holds the lead. Clock's so I'm leaving a little more of the free-for-all in than I normally do, and the reason being is that a couple of people have said they really want to see how I play it, what my movement's like, the areas that I check. Somebody's put out a confuser, a counter UAV. There's Megatron as I get shot from behind. But hey, I look up and notice Grandpa's in the lead. Gives him a shot of adrenaline. Kind of like when you look at your radar warning scope in a fighter and you see that a SAM missile radar is sweeping you. Actually, it's not that much adrenaline. What is going on here? Just go ahead and break his nose. Which isn't friendly. Some green leafy guy just got Grandpa. And Grandpa is going to jump off the thing. There's a knifer. Have one or more knifers in every lobby. And I guess people, it's like I've said before, it's so easy to do. They think that's the only way they can win. I think that was him again. I know people have asked me. Especially Rhino. He asked me for a knifing and shield video. Comment below if you want to see me do knifing and shield. Because, to be honest with you, there's the knifer. We're going to jump around and then he's going to taste the Renetti. Oh, I still have a bare bones. I'm going to have to break a nose again. I think that was the same poor guy. If you want to see it, enough people say they want to see it, I'll do it. But it, I told them it would be like a video of me cheering for the Russian hockey team, which nothing against Russia, but I cheer for the American team. All right, I'm looking for two more victims. Not even going to put out the mosquito drone. Oh, it got me with a crossfire that I got gacked. I'm putting it out. The heck with not putting it out. Let's put out everything because somebody's within one kill. There's 29. I just need one more for 30. The holder just deletes people. It's the delete key on the computer. It evaporates them. It sends their pixels into orbit. Where is? I need to find somebody. Still want to hit, oh, just somebody standing around. It's a victory. And it's a Snickers victory, 30 kills. So, yeah, that configuration, I think, is meta. I really do. And I had my microphone on. I think I was talking to somebody. I decided to turn it off because you never want to hear Grandpa speaking while he's making the sausage there. I think we could do a little better than 158, but I'm happy with that KD for that one because there were some decent players in that lobby. Thumbs up. All right. For my second try, I get gacked right off the bat. 
usually I'm the one that gacks somebody, bull rushing me. This will be a little bit more distance for this weapon. But you can see, I, I could take damage and die like that, or I could take damage and turn around and absolutely evaporate people with this configuration and this damage. Where'd he go? Let's go find him. He stepped in paint. Who killed him? Grandpa's getting behind. He, he doesn't like that. He doesn't see anybody to gack. There we go. See, I don't think giving up a little bullet velocity hurts. There. I hope somebody plays with that. We had people in this game camping the spawns. I don't really like when folks do that because I usually get killed multiple times. And the spawns on this map for free-for-all are very predictable. As you can see, I could take a shot, and as soon as I pull the trigger, it deletes. The enemy player didn't mean to shoot the body, no disrespect. Wanted to make sure he, he was gone, not among us anymore. You get them in the head, there's a bloodthirsty, and they're going down. There's somebody climbing to the top. He's going to camp up there. There's Elvis, the king. I had him a gold skeleton. wonder how much a gold skeleton weighs in Troy ounces. Ah, oh, get off of there. Where are you? Now you're off of there, Elvis. And then Grandpa was trapped for a second. We've got the lead. The Holger does. The Holger's the artist. I'm just the instrument that wields it. Whoa. You can see how fast it moves. I mean, it is a... Quick moving weapon. Oh, there's back up there again. Jumping down doesn't help, and there's somebody camped up at the top. Never gonna avoid it on this map. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to. He wanted to have a pillow party with Grandpa. That's one of the spawns. Come on, pull out the bare bones, Renetti. Oh, where am I taking damage? Oh. Where was I taking damage from? Right there was one place. Guy's just going to lay there the rest of the game, I guess. I'll just leave him be. I didn't see him. Come back. That's a sad word. That means you've been gacked three times in a row. But we still got a lead. Somebody's trying to beat me. No, they're not trying. They did. You know, when you're flying air to air, the worst thing on this earth is for someone to be able to sneak up behind you. And it's happened to me a few times. I had a backseater, a Wizzo. He was supposed to watch for that. Not blaming him, but it's embarrassing. Of course, I snuck up in the behind a few folks myself, an F-16, beautiful photos of it. I got with my gun cam or with my cameras on board of the aircraft so I called a shot on it he rolled inverted and pulled to the ground and threw out flares to trash the shot but he was already dead because I'd been following him for about 15 seconds I could have taken the shot whenever I wanted silently we're up pretty good in this in this game, the Holgers is doing outstanding. It is, I think, the best for Grandpa now. We've had discussions. Everybody has their own configurations and their weapons that are best for them. I think the Holger 556 in this configuration is the best weapon in the game in terms of ARs. There's another weapon that I like more than this configuration in the Holger, but it's not an AR. I'll keep that to myself. 
because I may make a video on it. Probably wouldn't be hard to guess what it is. Whoa, the headshots just delete people. This is accurate that you can put more bullet than one bullet in the head. We just need one more gack. We're going to be done with the Holger 556. A teary time for Grandpa because I had moved on to other weapons. And my insatiable desire to try everything. Yeah, it was a pretty good win. A uh, hoo hoo all that stuff. Peace. <laughs> Thumbs up. We're ready for takeoff. There we go. Kind of a cheesy win. So let me know what you think about the Holger. If you think it's the best, please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Peace to you and cheers.